During lockdown, some people developed a greater urge and need for sex. My sense tells me that when we're afraid, um, one of the things we do is we attach to other people and we seek intimacy and closeness. In terms of not wanting sex, um, well fear, again, is a really good driver for not wanting to have sex. If you're anxious, concerned about the future, you're feeling tense, you're probably not going to be feeling romantic or sexy, so you probably aren't going to be wanting to have lots of sex. Although saying that, you possibly still are looking for nurture and security. People have sex for different reasons at different times um, of the day and we don't always want to have partnered sex. Sometimes we want to have sex on our own and it might be for pressure release or some other fantasy purpose or just because you like to. What I say to you is it's completely normal to want to self-pleasure, to want to masturbate on your own quickly or over an extended period of time without the participation of your partner. It's really normal. Instead of being goal oriented and thinking you have to reach this end place where this thing happens, um, you know, like penetration and orgasm, how about focusing on sensations and ask yourself the question, what sensations can we experience together? And if you go with the experience, with the feeling, uh, with the sensation experience, you don't know where you're going to end up. You're going into an experience where you don't know exactly what's going to happen and you don't know exactly what the final outcome's going to be. But you do know that you are going to be fully immersed in your sensation experience. If you're holding resentments towards your partner, you're less likely to want to engage with them openly in a sexual encounter. An exercise I recommend is that you keep a diary of resentments, both you and your partner. So every single time you notice yourself feeling resentful towards your partner, you make a little note of it. Put a little note in your notebook. And at the end of the week, you take some time to sit and read through your resentments and make a conscious decision about which ones you want to keep. And you might actually find that there's none that you want to keep at all. Or you might find that there's one or two that really, really hurt and that you feel them intensely when even the memory of them is intense. And those resentments you need to take back to your partner. You need to agree a time and a space where you can sit together and you can talk about your feelings in a way that, that you're talking about yourself so don't pass blame onto your partner. And if you're the listening partner, make sure you really listen to what your partner's saying. This is important for them, this is hurtful for them. And then see if together you can come to some kind of mutual agreement about how you're going to do things in the future.